Hey everyone, it's good to be back. And I just want to make sure, because I have told literally hundreds and hundreds of people in my community and on YouTube about XRP in particular, I want to make sure I come on and let people know what's coming. This Flare Network that is coming, you know, about the end of June, we should know uh, an approximate date in the next few weeks. This Flare Network is going to go live. And if you don't know about it, you may miss one of the biggest opportunities financially. Um, if you just want to first state that this is not financial advice, but this is my personal opinions, okay? Don't invest based off of me. Take what I say, think about it, then do your own research. Um, so up until now, if you've held XRP, it's basically been a capital appreciation play. You buy in low, hopefully, and you sell high, right? It's just your basic investing. Well, I want to try to raise your awareness that there is a lot more. This is just your average retail investor. If you want to up your investment game, start thinking in terms of not just buying and selling, what about about making interest off of your crypto? If you can't get to that level, that to me that's the level where you are thinking big picture of what's coming in the space. If you believe in the space and where it's going, that it's the future of finance, then it only makes sense that in this slow grind, slow grind, multi-year process, I'm three years in, why would you not be making interest while you hold? Um, so, Flare Network gives you an opportunity to do that. You may not even be aware that on December 12th, there was a snapshot taken. And anyone that had XRP on a participating exchange like Binance or Coinbase has an airdrop of Flare or Spark tokens. They're kind of said um, like the same thing. Um, coming to you. And so... Uh, even if you had it on a Ledger Nano or a cold wallet, if you set it up, you could, um, by June 11th is the deadline, you can um, qualify for this airdrop. Now, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. For every XRP you have, you get one Spark token. So, what I want to talk about is the opportunity here because, again... XRP up to this point has just been a cross-border payment utility coin. Now you're starting to see the ecosystem mature. And um, if you're not aware, Ethereum is the leader in um, what's called decentralized finance. Basically, that's a big word to say that we're getting away from the middlemen. You know, the banks, the brokerages, the exchanges, all the people in the middle that want to take fees for transactions, we're getting rid of that and we're giving power back to the people, right? So for instance, a smart contract is basically, here, let me get this. A smart contract is basically a program on a blockchain, okay? And then when, when, uh, you execute an agreement when certain conditions are met. The example I put here is that a payment could be received when um, you know goods are delivered and a receipt is confirmed. Then, bam, the blockchain executes the smart contract. And you just took out the intermediaries, the people in the middle that are um, taking money out of your transaction, right? So that is essentially one of the big use cases of crypto. And that's where we're moving. The decentralized finance space is the next best, biggest thing after just crypto. So we have projects like Ethereum is the original, but it's too slow. Um, it's uh, too expensive with fees. It's not scalable. And so we have these newer projects coming up like Cardano and Flare Network. So you want, you just really can't understand how big this thing could actually get until you really dig in. And again, I'm not an expert, so I'm just giving you enough information 
to go do more research on your own. I know enough to take advantage of this and to share it with people, but look in the description below. I will give you a link to Mickey B. Fresh, who I've followed for a couple of years now, and he is dug in deep on this Flare Network. So look for that link below if you want to really get into it. But just to give you an example, um, you know, so Flare Networks comes out the end of June about, and the initial distribution is going to be 15%. So let's say you have a thousand XRP at the time of the snapshot on December 12th. Okay, you have a thousand Spark tokens coming to you. So you'll initially get 150 of that thousand uh, when it comes live. Okay, and then 3% each additional month. Okay, so it goes from 150, the next month you'll have 180, the next month you'll have 210, and so on, until you get the full thousand Spark tokens. Now you wonder why that is? Well, this is a smart organization that understands that there's a lot of people that just want to you know, sell as quick as possible. But they're trying to build the ecosystem and incentivize people to participate. All the people that do not claim their spark, um, there's billions of spark that's going to go unclaimed. They're giving away as rewards to people that come on the Flare Network. So here's the deal. You basically, if you want three streams of income, passive income, Okay, first you got your XRP that you've been holding, right? If you mint that XRP, that, it becomes FXRP. That stands for an F asset on the Flare Network. So if you take your XRP and put it on the Flare Network, there is a creation fee. I believe it's worth it. Um, so you mint that XRP and then all of a sudden you're going to receive daily Spark rewards as part of that pool. So the first year is really about, for me, accumulating as much Spark as possible. Um, I believe Spark's gonna be very valuable and have um, these smart contracts uh, become very valuable on this network, okay? So, um, so that's the first source of income. You, just for holding the XRP, in the Flare Network, you're going to receive Spark tokens daily, okay? Um, now, the second source of passive income I just talked about was the December 12th Spark airdrop. If you had your XRP on a participating exchange or uh, a cold wallet that you set up, um, then you qualify, okay? And then the third one. You, you can take all of your spark that you receive, say I take this 15% that I get initially, and I take those spark and I, and I use them as votes to a signal provider. Now, what the heck does that mean, right? Well, to be part of decentralized finance, part of what Flare Network has to do is they have to have accurate price feeds. Okay, so just like the stock market, like the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange, they have to have accurate price feeds. So these signal providers, one of them is like Bitru, which is an exchange. They set themselves up as signal providers to give accurate price feeds to the Flare Network. That's about as simple as I can explain it. And in addition, so we, we can take our Spark and vote for certain signal providers like Bitru or um, Towo Labs or whatever ones are out there. And in return, we receive Spark in rewards for giving our vote to certain signal providers. So once again, instead of just holding your XRP and watching the price go up and down and up and down and wondering, you know, when you're going to take profits, look at your options and consider taking a portion putting it on the Flare Network and receiving Spark Awards and Spark Awards for your Spark as well. That's a long game for me. That's, I'm in this for the long haul. So um, I see this as being part of an ecosystem that is very ahead of its time. And I think Flare Network has a really great chance of 
being very big. Now, if it fails, okay, you can redeem your um, Spark tokens for your XRP. So in other words, like you're not, you can actually do this without risking your XRP. You know, when you put your XRP on an exchange like Coinbase or Binance, you're putting trust in that exchange. That's called centralized finance, right? Because you're putting your XRP with them to store it. If they get scammed or they go bankrupt, then you're out of luck. Whereas I have a hardware wallet like a Ledger Nano where I can hold the XRP myself and take out the middlemen like Coinbase and Binance. That's called decentralized finance. I'm taking control of my own assets, right? And um, so that's just give you a simplified version to start out with. I want people to just be aware of what's coming. Um, please feel free to ask some questions below in the comments. I, again, I'm not an expert, but if I can't answer it, I will. I do want to encourage you, again, to um, look at the description below with Big Mickey B. Fresh. He does an excellent job, and that's where I've gotten my information. Um, uh, he's been a credible source for me um, to get more into the details of how to take advantage of this opportunity. So I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. All right, thanks. Bye.